All right, guys, we're with our friend Simon. Hey, Simon. Hey, Daniel. All right, so we're in Houston, Texas. This is where all the oil is. This is the Middle East of uh, the United States. Is that right? That's about Tony right. from MTG Lions right. here, too. All right, so Simon's an old school magic player, legacy also, vintage. There is something really cool on the table. These are misprints. Um, we have a lot of misprints. Uh, our friend Tavis King has showed us some, but why don't you share yep. with us, Simon, what sure. what this Alpha Lightning Bolt is? What is that? Yeah, so this uh, miscut Alpha Lightning Bolt, you can see at the bottom, if you zoom in, you can see it's Swamp is the card below it, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, I'll flip it over as well. Wow. Now, those of you guys out there, a misprint or a miscut is extremely rare. I know you're going to destroy the comments and say, this, this thing's a piece of crap. It's not a real, or it's you know, it's not cool, or whatever. Uh, you're wrong because this becomes like a rare collectible, just like something like this, like an Alpha uh, original painting, Mock Sapphire, right? Yeah. So I think you know, I got into misprints and miscuts. Uh, I don't really like foils. I was playing mostly Legacy and Vintage at the time. I don't like foils. Um, miscuts, misprints is another way. You know, just like people like their cards altered or signed. Misprints, miscuts, another way to have a unique thing in your deck. Um, that's one of the things that maybe it's kind of difficult. People do different languages, uh, different things. Oh, where's your deck, by the way? Uh, grab so, that real quick. So yeah, yeah, this is just part of some... Yeah, yeah, show us your deck. Yeah, that's probably... Yeah, because then people can understand what you're doing. Yeah, so this is just... Simon a, has an entire deck of misprints, basically. There's a lot of misprints and yeah, misprints. Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah, it's really good. I like it. Yeah, so I'll just uh, fan through. Not everything you'll see. So some stuff is miscut. I can... Uh, What's the best thing here? Yeah, okay. So That's some fine. stuff is miscut, some stuff is not. Oh, um, now we know what you're playing today. You're playing the Atog deck. Yeah, Atog deck. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole it's reason why. Oh, I know yeah. what's going on. I, I, I always come with extra Beta deck. power, Jesus. Yeah, so. Yeah, the oil business is good. <laughs> this is great. By the way, uh, yeah, I, 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 I have alpha, a version of alpha? alpha. Oh my god! Oh, wow. Yeah, but everybody, calm down. It's alpha. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's been Walt. Wait till you see my uh, well played. My my lotus is <laughs> he's you know, seen you know. some things. <laughs> um, so another this so this again. You know, I think a lot of people uh, talk about miscuts, and uh, you're saying some people. That's summer magic. Oh no. no! So this is fourth edition. Um, so this is factory cut as well. Um, so we can talk about that in a minute. Factory cut versus uh, NFC. Some more baby stuff. So, so you'll see. There's some. I have some NFC. This is NFC here. Ooh, I love that. NFC is, is non-factory, non-factory cut. So that's someone who's taken a sheet oh, and man. cut, cut, cut the cards. So here's my very well loved uh, baby lotus. Oh my oh. god! Here, take it out for a second. Yeah. Take it out of the sleeve. Every, the, it's it's seen some things. Yeah, no, no, take it out of the take it out of the thing. I want to see. Yeah, I just want to see how bad it is. Holy mother! If you can't focus it when it's yeah. Right here, guys. Right oh my God, she she's well she's uh, she's well. What loved. the hell is that? It's like one of the panhandlers did that to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So do you like it when it's beat up? So I, is this your original? I idea? play. Is yeah. So I mean, I play with this deck. So uh, you know, all these cards are getting played. So you know, there's a there's a time and a place for this, no, uh, yeah. and you're not putting that in the deck. Um, so, you know, I, I think... I don't know. I'd rather play with this one, the signed one. It has to be signed. <laughs> okay, you know, and, and different... different you what know, do you think? Do you think, do you think the PSA grading standards has... <laughs> no, no, I'm going <laughs> to do I'm going to troll people. I know that there's some people that like... Uh, oh, yeah, no. I want to picture that, too. BGS over PSA. Not, people so. get so upset on Reddit. If you post it on Reddit... <laughs> Hold on a sec. <laughs> no, you got to make it perfect. All right. Go ahead, do it. Yeah, so why do you so why do you think people do this with their decks? Why do they like these miscuts? Why why is there a fascination? Yeah, so I think there's there's two things. There's for players it's something unique in their deck, and for collectors it's a unique oddity to have as an oddity. So I kind of fit in the middle. Uh, I play a lot. Of, um, I used to play a lot of Magic. Um, still play a little bit of Magic. It's nice to have something unique. I also like the collector's side point. Um, so I have both. Um, you know, so it's just, it's unique. Um, you know, I was mentioning, we were talking about um, NFCs. Oh yeah, this is non-factory So cut. this is yeah. NFC and this is actually factory cut. So, you know, it's interesting. So I have uh, 40, I have all 40 miscut duels. NFC, um, factory cut. Correct. Yeah. You know, and I, people will often ask, you know, well, 
all your duels are NFCs or whatever. And I think I can't remember exactly how many duels I have that are factory cut versus NFC. So you have a whole set of forty. I have full forty all miscut. Yeah. Did you buy the sheet and then miss? No. So I just I bought them and collected them over time. What happened here? So this is a fourth edition island that's missing all of the black ink. So they they apply uh, the link in uh, the ink in layers um, to the cards. So this one is basically they printed it, but there's no black. Wow, it's a beautiful island. Yeah, it's, it's so it looks it's stunning. Right? This is my favorite. Um, oh, we have that one, right? It's oh no, 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 this this is the pink one. It's the invert, yeah. Yeah, but it's the same island, right? No, 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 no. There's a, a sunset purple island that was an original artwork. The pink one was in beta, correct? And oh, it was I inverted, see. but it's digital. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's the digital. purple, the sunset purple, is it's actually yeah, is the other island. island. Yeah. This is the, this is the, this is the blue sky. That's blue. This yeah. is the purple inverts. How would you find something like this? Like, if someone wanted to get started on, you know, picking up, who would have them? What type of marketplace? Like, are you on Facebook or? Yeah, so there's a there's a large uh, misprint um, collectors group on Facebook. Um, so that's one place. Uh, eBay is another place. Um, and just uh, you know, Daniel was just talking in some of his other videos about. Relationships, right, meeting um, people, mm -hmm. meeting people, people. Love I'm sort of the, one fortune. of the. Well, now I know your entire deck. I know exactly <laughs> what to do. I think I brought two more decks. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good, by the way. Tony's never played uh, I've old, never school. Played old school. Guys, we're gonna have videos today of Tony MTG Lion playing old school. The first, yeah, I've never first time ever, just, ever, yeah, just chaos, ever. Yeah. Just chaos sword flipping. Have That's you ever chaos sword flip? No, I have. Oh, no. Hey, oh, you, you, you gotta practice. Here you go, Tony. Why don't you chaos sword flip? Here, okay. go ahead. It's an alpha one, so, so you know, yeah. it's, just it's, like flip it how many times? Okay, so you're gonna aim. So teach him how to do it, Simon. Come over here. Yeah, yeah, Simon, you do it first. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Show, you, show him how to do it. So you're gonna do it on the counter spell original art. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so there's a couple of different techniques, um, but basically it has to okay. be a foot. Yeah, a foot. Um, some people like to rotate it, flip it. Okay. I'm a finger drop. I think some people call it like a bit of a cheaty. Uh, oh. Flip. Well, what's a finger drop? So I like to drop it like this. Oh, so, oh. Have flip so it has to rotate all the way around. 360 degrees. Oh, if I can't do that. So if it doesn't do flip. it again, do it again. <laughs> but, I, but that was perfect flip. Okay, so. Oh, 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 oh Lion, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kind of, uh, Wait, so me over there be the judge. Tell him, make sure yeah. it's a foot. Make sure it's a foot. So it has to flip one time, right? That's a flip. Rotate, it has to rotate. Okay, has to rotate. All the way around. Whoa! Oh, I did it! I did it! Is, is that... No, is by the like way, Tony, thing? Tony, you're going to have to do that today, because no, this... give me a deck that doesn't have that. No, you have to have it. It's the, the, one, one, the most, one of the most powerful cards. So every, are you telling me every old school deck has that? Has a chaos orb. Yeah, Just the mouse. It's because of, what? of color, right? So if you're mono black. Oh, it's an artifact, yeah. Well, yeah. Look, look at this. It's only two mana. It destroys any permanent. It's vindicate. So it's like it's a vindicate. Three mana two. vindicate, basically. But there's. To pay a mana. Oh, you pay one. It's a vindicate. It's three mana colorless vindicate in a way, yeah. Yeah, very, very powerful. Oh, man. So Did very, they ever get damaged this way? Yeah, so this is alpha or but, yeah, but has so. anyone like you know like because you're flipping all the time I assume because yeah. well if you if, if if he flipped it and this corner was like right on it yeah it, yeah it could get damaged right huh. yeah that's like the only way I mean really you're not gonna damage it now I, it's double sleeved right yeah. now but yeah I mean a lot a lot of them were is this played by the way it's played right in alpha the, the chaos sword is it a played one. Is there a nicer it's one? Uh, the nice. condition, yeah. <laughs> so it's, he's it's playing nice with a nicer. Yeah. This is like four grand, like five grand. And you're flipping. It's pretty nice. Nice. Wow, this is ridiculous, guys. Yeah, my technique's a little different. I use two hands and I just mm -hmm. rotate it faster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you rotate, but I think the faster. They're trying to get. Is, all right, one more time, Tony, for the camera. You got to practice today. Go ahead and practice. I, I hate to do this to his five. No, 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 no. You have no, no. You have to practice oh it. <laughs> it's meant to be flipped. Is that was that 360? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the key thing is you can't just okay. you can't just thousand dollar card that you're rotating. <laughs> You've never done that, right? No, I've never done that. I, I it's don't, absolutely nuts. You're gonna have to buy a castle now. 
Yeah. No, by the way, if you're gonna play old school, that's the first card you gotta buy. Yeah. I because agree. that's like an really? old school. I, yeah, I never. That, that is like Jazam. This Jim. is this is the one of the only cards that you don't get to play anywhere else. Yes, exactly. It, it's, um, it's the it's only banned. format you it's can banned. play. It's, it's the only format you can play it. Oh, that's why it makes it so special. Right. So talk about chaos, chaos sword spikes. I mean so that how card. How much is could... this deck? Like if oh, you there we go. We seen the deck. I don't know. I mean, I don't even know how much the power. If you had to guess, yeah. I mean, it's it's six figures, right? It's worth, more, it's six. worth more than Scorch Runes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I just raised the price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all about the customer. <laughs> it's all about the, rela- it's it's all about the relationship. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I mean, his deck is probably, I would guess, with, with yeah, beta alpha. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's it's, a, it's, right. it's definitely a hundred grand. I mean, yeah, a hundred right. grand because of the fact that there's a lot of miscuts that could have a lot of value to him. And, and they're also rare. Yeah. And there's also alpha. There's also power, some alpha power. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's probably around 100, 100 grand. I mean, probably a little bit less. But, you know, again, a beat-up Beta Lotus is still worth, like, at least 15K, you know, to some people. You know? I mean, one day, that card, I wouldn't be surprised if it was, like, 100K because of the fact that it's an old comic book. It's like an old X-Men number one. People still want it. People still want of, it. They, they can't afford to buy in the million dollar, you know, yeah. PSA 10. Yeah. I mean, okay, or, so it's all about high level. Like, if this card becomes two million one day, yep. that means alpha, an alpha Lotus played is 50K. Yep. Why, why wouldn't it be 50K? Why yep. wouldn't it not be 50K? Because if it's two million for a nice yeah, yeah. one, right, that's, that's, it's all relativity. Yep. And that's what's happened with artwork, cards, and decks, and everything. All right, well, Simon, thanks for sharing. Tony, thanks for doing that. Guys, if you guys are interested in misprints, this is an awesome share. I'm going to have some cool old school he has magic an videos. Right? Like, uh, yeah. 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 yeah, what's yeah, Instagram, Instagram, by the way? At MTG Misprint. MTG Misprint. Oh, so you're the misprint guy. Wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, we're the whole time. MTG Misprint. That's MTG Lion. That's my brother from Another Mother. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to play some old school. Get out of here. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.